Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. Malaysia's Armed Forces Chief will meet with his Indonesian counterpart Wednesday to discuss the issue of Ambalat waters. Defence Minister Datuk Sri Ahmad Zahid Hamidi, however, says Malaysia will not bring the issue of Ambalat to the International Court of Justice in The Hague. Both Malaysia and Indonesia have territorial claim over the Ambalat waters off the coast of Sabah, which is rich in minerals and oil. Ahmad Zahid had said earlier he will propose that Malaysian and Indonesian Navy vessels stay out of the disputed Ambalat waters until the issue on the claim had been resolved by both countries. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Datuk Sri Muhammad Nazri Abdul Aziz, says the proposed fare hike for express buses and stagecoaches stagecoaches are not expected to exceed the current 30% surcharge imposed since last year. He says the current surcharge previously imposed might be turned into a permanent fare increase or at the most an extra 10 cents increase to help express and stagecoach operators sustain an increase in operating expenses. He told reporters this after handing out taxi and rental car permits to 85 applicants in Negris Milan Tuesday. He adds that with the increase, bus operators will not have any more excuses not to improve their services or safety aspects of their buses. Bus and taxi fares were last revised in 2005. DAP advisor Lim Kit Siang says Pakatan Rakyat is facing its first confidence crisis since its formation after the March 8 general elections. Lim says some of the speeches by past leaders and resolutions at the recently concluded 55th past Muktama Assembly, such as Unity Talks and the call to ban sisters in Islam, has had an opposite effect. He says it will be a challenge for PAS to become a national party capable of representing all during the historic moment where the country was undergoing unprecedented political change. Malaysia and Singapore will forge closer bilateral cooperation in the, form in the information communications and cultural fields. Information Communications and Culture Minister Datuk Sri Rais Yatim says the cooperation would entail promoting interaction and mutual understanding between the younger generation of both countries. Program uh, di peringkat uh, generasi muda di Johor Bahru dan uh, kemungkinan uh, kami akan mempelawa kumpulan-kumpulan uh, uh, generasi muda dari Singapura ke Johor Bahru dalam bidang uh, hiburan, uh, budaya, bidang seni, lukis misalnya uh, dan juga program-program yang digemari oleh uh, generasi muda uh, dua-dua belah pihak. He told reporters this after receiving Acting Singapore Information Communications and the Arts Minister Louis Tak Yu in Kuala Lumpur Tuesday. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.